Greetings, my name is Ren, and this is Scientific SC, the series about South Carolina scientists and inventors. Today we're discussing Dr. Ernest Jeff. Dr. Jeff is an African American scientist who made major contributions to the study of the cell surface, fertilization, and marine biology. Ernest Jeff was born in Charleston, South Carolina in 1883. At age 15, he attended the Colored Normal Industrial, Agricultural, and Mechanical College. That school later became South Carolina State University. Next, he enrolled at Kimball Union Academy, a graduating in 1903. Then he enrolled at Dartmouth College, graduating magna cum laude in 1907. After graduating, Jeff accepted a teaching position at Howard University. He first began teaching English, a bit removed from his normal line of study, but soon began teaching biology, then later became head of the zoology department. Here's a fun fact, while at Howard University, Ernest just helped establish Omega Psi Phi fraternity. During the summers, Jeff did research at Woods Hole Marine Biology Lab. He studied the eggs and breeding habits of animals like clamworms, ragworms, and sea urchins. In 1915, he enrolled in a doctorate program at the University of Chicago, graduating a year later in 1916. His thesis was on the cell wall, cell cleavage, and fertilization. Fertilization works similarly in most organisms. It begins when a sperm cell contacts an egg cell, it burrows into and releases the cell contents to fuse with the nucleus of the egg cell. Fighting prejudice in the U.S., Dr. Jess began research in Europe, first in Naples, Italy. In 1930, he became the first American invited to the Kaiser Wilhelm Institute in Berlin, Germany. And in 1933, Dr. Just moved to Paris, France. He remained here until 1940 when France fell to Germany during World War II. He was briefly taken prisoner of war. During his career in education and research, Dr. Just authored two important books and published over 70 scholarly papers. After being released back to the U.S., Dr. Just died of pancreatic cancer in the fall of 1941. Thanks for watching.